Good morning everyone. Welcome to another beautiful English summer. Look at the state of this. Imagine this is the middle of June. I'm actually driving to work with my fog lights on in the middle of June. Anywho. Hello everyone. So I've been called around here to have a look at the um, state of the electrics in this place. Looks like the tenants done a runner, left, been evicted, whatever, left in a hurry, certainly. Um, the electrics are quite bad, to be honest. Uh, not too bad in this room. This is one of the better rooms. Nice funky light fitting up there. But, you know, this kind of situation. That's can't be, can't be safe. Can't leave that like that. However, it gets a whole lot worse as we go into the front bedroom. I'm going to show you now. So, you can see we've got some kind of trunking thing there that's hanging off the wall. Not quite sure what it is. So, all these under here. We've got a double socket screwed to the skirting board, fed by what looks to be a 6mm cable, which is coming out of this. That's a bit dodgy. And then we'll go downstairs where the real fun, the real fun begins in the kitchen. You see? Now, so we've got dodgy sockets here. Loose and cracked. I don't know what this is. A load of trunking just dangling about. Socket just kind of screwed up to the wall but loose. I have no idea what this is. Kind of suck it. This makeup stuff here. Again, big six mil cable going to cooker. With a cable wandering just nowhere down there. A plate up there. Looks like it used to do a fan. So, as you can see, the unit full of. Oh yeah. Well, this is a Hager. I'm not sure they'd be pleased with the condition it's in. Oh my god. Looks like someone's kind of part rewired the house yeah. and then uh, and and not disconnected some of the circuits and left it all surf some stuff surface some stuff sunk in. I know, yeah, it's crazy. Very dodgy. No RCD rewire. at all. Yeah, should be a complete rewire. Well, someone rewired it, but they've just done it, done it all wrong. very badly, yeah, very badly. I want to see if we can see any more faults. I'm back in the kitchen and just um, thought I'd have a look at a few different things here. Make sure things aren't... Oh my God. I mean, obviously, you can't go off a vault stick or anything, these things don't test for dead. They only test for if things are alive, like that. That's definitely alive. 
but obviously that is not definitely dead. You can't test that with a a vault stick, no matter how posh they are. But I'm just a bit surprised at the state of this. This electric's just kind of ripped out and abandoned on the floor here and live. Obviously the cooker fee going down there, but yeah, more won't rewiring. I'll just pull this boxing in off from behind where the boiler is. What the hell is all this? This is getting worse. I've just turned off what's labelled as the kitchen, which is not coming back on now, but who knows what the labelling is on this fucking place as well. Oh my god. Dangerous, isn't it, the way it is? Yeah. Hey! Horrendous. Oh, she's back now. My God. So the cooker's doing the boiler. Jesus. Cooker's doing the boiler and this socket. Right, I've managed to find both ends of the kitchen ring, so I'm just gonna wiggle them up for now. And uh, I'm not even gonna turn the power back on, it's just, just in case. Uh, wiggle them up and just kind of keep them out of the way, make sure no one turns them back on. Right, I'll go and show you. Absolutely love these CK cutters. You see how they can just, they just cut enough to the holes. It's great, so you can cut right through it with this side. Just hold this there. And then just select the second hole down. And it'll cut just the insulation off. Usually use this pretty much every day. So, yeah, pretty much nice, nice way of terminating. Cable really. Wish it was in a better condition, better place, better property. But so I'll just put a bit of a box around there and some uh, cable tie and tie that up out of the way up there somewhere until we can get a chance to deal with it. At least now we can get rid of some of this crap. Just undone the socket here, and I can beginning to see what kind of what's happened here, what kind of a rewire it's had. You can see here's the new colours coming in. 
Um, you can see they're coming in through one hole, no grommet, sleeved over both CPCs. And look, look what's here in the same box, they've not even bothered to take out the old cables. So that shows you what kind of a rewire it's had. So I've got the kitchen ring coiled up there, um, the aid of a screwdriver. Managed to find the leg that was going to this thing. Look at the state of that. The other leg was going down and it was actually lying, it was connected to a box down here. Um, now it's just the, can you see the six mil cooker feed coming through the back? Going all the way up and around. So we'll go and disconnect the cooker, MCB, and undo all that crap. Can't wait. I know me in this situation, when I'm working on my own, I will just turn it off and I will do but in this particular situation. I'm going to undo the cooker because I don't trust this house. I mean, would you? That's the cooker disconnected. Yeah, the boiler's gone off. This, this is like the universal tester of electrics. Does the kettle work? No, not really, but you know. Yeah, it's all done. There you are. Safe isolation carried out. I'll take all this to bits and see what's going on behind it. Right, so first on the list is this fuse connection unit, which let's just see. Oh, we've actually got a three amp fuse in. Wow. Wow, wow, someone's uh, someone's after some rally points putting a three amp fuse in there. Obviously wasn't the person who's wired the house. They probably have a nail in there. So we've got 6 mil feed in the fuse connection unit. Um, bare conductors everywhere. It's all chip and it's all chaff. Whoa. It might, it might, this might go again. We'll see. Let's not just smash a perfectly normal working switch up. The terminals look okay. No damage to it. I'm sure it's got a bit of grease and grime on it. What do you expect from someone who lives in a house who doesn't care about it? I think we'll keep this. Okay, so that's the cooker and the socket cables tied up now. Uh, they're dead also as well. I'm going to go back to the consumer and disconnect the, uh, the socket circuit. Uh, all that crap's been removed from there. We're going to have a look at that junction box behind the box and then... Another little job I'm going to do while I'm here for the people that are kind of ripping the house out and stuff like that, getting rid of all the furniture, I'm going to disconnect the sink. <coughs> Stop tamping it up, it'll be solid.
Wow. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Um, not much to work to do as such. I've made everything safe, disconnected that, pulled the sink out, left a temporary feed in for the, for the water there. Um, all the other trades are going to jump in now and deal with all this and get, get rid of it all, knock all this mould stuff off. And it uh, looks like I'll be rewiring it in a, in a week or so. All right, we're back in the van now. Uh, that job's gonna get rewired uh, in a couple of weeks or something. I spoke to the landlord and yeah, it definitely needs all kinds of electrical updates and just, just you know, yeah. <laughs> There's all kinds of problems with that place. Um, if you like what you saw, give it us a thumbs up, give us a like. Um, any questions, any comments, anything you need me to answer, uh, we can just chat about it, no problem. I'm always gonna try and reply. Leave anything in the comments. And as always, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.